webinar on digital marketing. Dr. D.Y. Patil, IHM City, has collaborated with Skillchim for organizing value-added courses on digital marketing. Skillchim is an ed tech institute where you learn in-demand, high-paying digital marketing and sales mix. In today's webinar, the co-founders of Skillchim, Mr. Saidash Taley and Ms. Pradnya Sonone will be giving inputs on the need, scope, challenges, advantages, and opportunities in digital marketing. Before starting the webinar, I would like to share a brief profile of Mr. Sairash Taley. He's been in this field for last five plus years and has done his master's in international marketing from Australia. While Ms. Pradnya Sonone, she is in this field for the last three plus years and done master's in entrepreneurship management. Now I would request Ms. Pradnya Madam and Saira Sir to kindly take over the session. Pradnya Madam, you can please begin the session. Yes. Uh, first of all, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Ashwini Ma'am, for introducing us and Skillchim. Uh, so, yes, I, I hope everyone is uh, attentive here and we'll begin the session now. Uh, so let me introduce myself. I'm Pradnya Sonone, co-founder of Skillchim. So what is Skillchim? As uh, Ma'am also introduced us, so I'll just tell you what is Skillchim exactly. So Skillchim is an edtech institute where you learn in-demand, high-paying digital marketing and sales skills. We started this a year ago because we saw there was an opportunity as 90% of the institutes teach a generic course that is irrespective of your goals, they teach you the same content. So we started Skillchim to provide customized courses in order to achieve one's goal. So uh, like uh, Sairaj Tevi, the our co-founder will continue further. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yes, sorry. Yeah, thank you so much, like Pradnya Ma'am and Ashwini Ma'am, for this lovely introduction. And I'm the co founder of Skillchim, and I basically look into digital marketing thing, and Pradnya Ma'am looks into sales skill. So, before we start this webinar, I want everyone to be interactive. Like, I don't want to be a boring session, like, everyone is listening, I'm talking, and everyone is listening. So, let's make it a bit interactive. Like I know like Pradnya ma'am is like a first bencher, but I'm a last, I was a last bencher. Okay. So you can relate to me. So before we start, I want to know from where you guys are joining this seminar. So please, if you can type your city name or your area from where you're joining, I would love to know from where you're joining. Hello. Okay, so I got a response from Praful, is from Pune, and anyone? Neeraj is from Pune, Shiv Raj Kumar Wakad, nice Kushi Pune, nice. And that's it, guys. We have, I think, 28 participants here. So, Please, if you can interact, you can send message. It will be fun. Like otherwise, it will be a boring session for everyone. Just have to type your uh, place name. Like if you type, you are in Pune, Nashik. Okay, oh nice. Aniket Dumse has joined from Nashik. Welcome, Aniket. Okay, so I got few responses. So before we start, uh, what? let me introduce you to like digital marketing. So exactly what is digital marketing? We'll cover this. And first I'll tell you what 
all topics we will cover in this seminar or webinar sorry okay so we will cover three important topics like the first will be three important aspects of digital marketing which are mainly social media marketing search engine marketing okay and search engine optimization our second topic will be like it's very interesting because like most of us do businesses and most of us might have tried doing businesses online but we don't get those results which we expect we want okay so second topic will focus on how to get that first sale so if you are starting online getting first sale is always very difficult okay so second topic will be how to get your first sale and third topic i will show you a very interesting video which shows a guy he landed a job by running a google ad so how he did it i will show you that video so guys i want to know like am i audible just type one if i am audible just type one in chat box okay thank you thank you for a pooja khushi okay thank you so i am audible okay so as i said so we'll start this seminar uh, just allow me to share my screen with you okay yeah good so is it visible guys again sorry to disturb you again uh, so again type one if my screen is visible okay good good so this four or five attendees are like respond guys like like rest 25 attendees please you can also respond just make it interactive okay fine so yeah so this webinar is on digital marketing and we have like launched this first thing like with in association with dy patel institute okay so i will directly dive into now what we'll cover in this webinar so okay so these are some ground rules basically because say we are joining probably everyone is joining from their home or might be from college so i request you all to just switch off from other sources like social media platforms and all ask your friends to message you after an hour so that you can concentrate on this webinar and i'll make sure that it will i will i provide you as much value as i can so that you can implement this in your career or your in your like uh, business if you are doing okay so grab your pen and notepad to take notes basically during this webinar i will share my screen i will show you how to run ads also so yeah so this is what next slide yeah so this is what we are going to cover three topics we are going to cover digital marketing three most important digital marketing aspects and how to get your first sale okay and how to how this guy landed a job using a google ad yeah and one more thing guys i want to know from you i want to know how many of you guys have have given a given it a shot like have started their own business or they are planning to start their own business okay so let me know like if you are planning to start your business or you have already started just type one hello yeah guys if you are planning to start a business or you have started a business just type one in the chat box okay profil was type one rishikesh okay so i can see only two no three neeraj pooja shiv kumar or nice and if you are planning to do a job so if you are planning to do a job after your graduation or after your particular course just type 2 so if you are interested in job type 2 and if you are interested in business just type 1 okay so i can only see one two pages okay shivraj kumar rutvik pooja aikwar Okay. Okay. Fine. So our audiences, I think, distributed equally. Half 
of them want to do business and half of them want to go for job fine nice okay so i will tell you like what is exactly we'll start with what is exactly digital marketing okay so in simple terms digital marketing is a component of marketing in which we promote our products and services through digital platforms okay i will repeat like digital marketing is a component of marketing in which we promote our products and services through digital platforms so what are these digital platforms basically digital platforms are like social media platforms search engine okay so the, so there are two major platforms like social media and search engine as you see one stat states that a minimal or like you can say a teenager spends 6 hours of his time of a day on mobile and 3 hours he spends on social media and 3 hours surfing on internet like watching netflix or surf, searching for any term or searching for any service okay so it's a inch it's like not exact data but in a study it's found that three hours are spent on social media and three hours a teenager like between 18 to 30 spends his time on social media and three hours on search engine like it's not true with in most of the cases like any uh, like why in holidays i spend like when i have a week off or a day off I spend like seven to eight hours also on social media by going through different social media platforms, like switching from one platform to another. So yeah, so there are exceptions like in every case. Okay. So what does this indicate? But uh, what does this indicate is that if we are running a business or we are planning to run a business online, we should have our presence on social media and search engine. Okay, so this data, why, why we have uh, got this data or we, we are representing this data because these are the two platforms where our audience is present. Okay, so three hours on social media, that means suppose, for example, we'll take an example. Okay, here I think 90% of the students are from HM city, right? So except uh, just type two if you are not from like hotel management background. I just want to know. Type in chat box if you are not from hotel management background. Just type two. Guys, am I audible? Uh, just type two if you are attending this webinar and you are not from hotel management background i think everyone is from hotel management background nice okay rahul muske is not from hotel management background okay okay so we will take an example so i think most of like 95 percent of us are like from hotel management background here so what we'll do is we'll take an example of a cafe suppose if you want to start a cafe okay online or you can say cloud kitchen right so what you will do is you will creating an online presence what do you mean by creating an online presence is you, you should have a social media page and you should have a website right social media page is basically mainly which we have on facebook and instagram right so we have to create our page on Instagram and we have to create our website on Google, which will be visible on Google, right? So this is the, these are the two main places where our business should be, because as we have seen earlier, six hours of a day, like people spend six hours of the day on mobile and that on social media and Google, right? So our presence should be on both of these platforms. So, yeah, so quickly dive into this. Like as we, our first topic is three aspects of digital marketing. So the first is social media marketing. So what is social media marketing? It's like social media marketing is promoting our business through social media platforms. That is mainly Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. So these are main platforms where we can 
like promote our business okay so now what we'll do is we'll create a social media strategy for a local cafe fine so if you are a local if you are running a local cafe okay so before we proceed i want to know from you guys are you getting this or like because uh, i am not able to hear you like i am speaking a uh, uh, like i am only speaking here so i just want to know before we proceed are you getting this like am i am audible there is no issue right from my end if you are getting what i am teaching you just type yes okay pooja guy code is saying yes rushikesh is saying yes nice nice okay okay fine so yeah so, so we'll create a social media strategy for a local cafe so be attentive now what we are doing is we'll take an example suppose in future you want to start a local cafe okay which is let's say in pune in a particular let's say ravid okay so you want to start a local cafe so what how you will promote it on social media to get more customers to your cafe fine so for that we'll create a strategy so again i will repeat this scenario in future if you want to start a local cafe or a cloud business okay and so you uh, so we'll see how you will promote this local cafe or a cloud kitchen on social media platforms okay so to create a strategy we have to have a goal right if you don't like we create a strategy to achieve a particular goal okay so here we'll we'll set a goal as our goal is to promote our brand okay in our local area or in our 10 kilometers of our area suppose we are living in ravet your cafe is in ravet so in 10 kilometers of our radius we have to promote our cafe okay so our first step is to set our goal so our goal is to create brand awareness right we have to promote our offer that we are new, we have newly launched our cafe in ravet so we are we want to let people know that we have launched this cafe and and apparently they should visit our cafe cafe right so our second step will be to identify our target audience okay identifying our target audience is like we can't sell to everyone right so if you are running a cafe our target audience mainly will be teenagers like teenagers and uh, uh, students or like you can say age group age group will be 18 to 30 okay students and uh, boys and girls who lie between the age 18 to 30 because they are mainly into junk food okay if if we move ahead like after 30s they they mainly follow like a good diet a healthy diet right so mainly our age group will be 18 to 30 okay there are exceptions like my friend other day told me like are my mera dad mere dada ji bhi fries khate so yes there are exceptions so this is not the case but mainly our like target audience is between 18 to 30 okay why it's important to identify the target audience is because see digital in digital marketing it's very targeted for example if you take an example of a traditional marketing campaign if you put a holding of your cafe in your area everyone will look like uh, watch that holding will look at that holding will go through that holding right but everyone is not our target audience right so in digital marketing what we do is we we show our ads to a particular particular set of audience right so it's very targeted and the conversion rate through that ad is higher than the traditional marketing method okay so second step am i clear second step is identify your target audience so in this case our target audience is like people who are between age of 18 to 30 okay now we have to identify on which platform they are spending their time okay so we all know uh, i want to know from you guys if you are like people between 18 to 30 on which platform they spend their time i want to know in the chat box on which social media platform do uh, like people between 18 to 30 spend most of their time instagram okay uh, yeah shiv kumar 
has one question shiv kumar what we'll do is we have kept a separate 15 minutes at the end of this session to solve your all your doubts because we have limited time okay so we can't solve everyone doubt uh, like uh, during this session so once we complete this webinar we'll solve your doubts okay so tejas is say, saying facebook kushi is saying instagram rushikesh instagram okay so yeah facebook instagram youtube okay shiv kumar is saying youtube fine live chats oh this is interesting they just do say saying live chat okay so like in most of the cases we all know like mainly 18 the people who live between 18 to 30 age between 18 to 30 they are on instagram mostly on instagram because nowadays we don't even use facebook that for that much because see whenever we use facebook for me i will tell you frankly facebook for me is just a birthday birthday notification app for me okay so i just uh use that for birthday notification to wish my friends because i can't remember everyone's birthday yeah and uh, what else like only we can see memes and news only on facebook right so so we are mostly active on instagram right so and the age group above 30 they are mainly active on facebook nowadays because there they can watch news they can read news right they can interact they like our my, my mom does this they she interacts on every news channel post on facebook i don't know why she gives her opinion on every post like or every post her comment is there okay so they like about 30 mainly are on facebook okay and there are exceptions as i said there are exceptions but we have to identify our main audience so 90% of the audience will spend our time on instagram right so we have uh, done this three thing first our goal is to create brand awareness right second we have identified our target audience which is between 18 to 30 who can visit our cafe those who are mainly into junk food and third their platform is instagram right and the fourth will be unique selling proposition so what is unique selling proposition is so basically we are starting a local cafe so we have to attract them with some offer okay offer as in we can give them free fries okay free cold coffee so which can attract them to visit our cafe so this is our usp or we have some vegan burger okay so we we can try this so we should have a unique selling proposition when we run a instagram ad or facebook ad okay so this is how we can create a marketing strategy i will quickly share with you how it's done on facebook okay let uh, allow me to share my screen with you guys so are you guys getting it uh, just type one if you are like getting what i'm telling you or what i'm teaching you oh nice one khushi one praful one shiv kumar one nice okay so just give me a second i'll share my screen with you guys how to basically run ads like on facebook or instagram so we run instagram or ads through facebook only okay there is uh, no other tool to run instagram ads so this is like how our facebook dashboard looks so this dashboard is of like subhash kute he is our client okay so i will i'll just give you an example if you are if you want to create your ad for your local cafe or uh, or you can say uh, like what cloud kitchen so how to do it first here click on create and choose your like objective what is your objective we here we can choose like we want to create brand awareness traffic so here we can choose traffic also or brand awareness also we can choose any of this so for this we'll choose brand awareness for this example click on continue okay. yes so here we have to type in any name for this i'll type test cafe and categories we have to give this okay Campaign budget optimization for the segment. 
for this i'll keep like 100 rupees per day click on next so here see the power of facebook lies here okay so we can target here a particular location for example my cafe is in uh sorry type it pune pune se Ravit Manus. Okay. See, so uh, in previously I've told you this example is for cafe we are, which we have opened in Ravit. So we can only target in Ravit itself. So that people living in Ravit and who like those age lies between 18 to 30 will only see this ad. So I have put this on Ravit here. Here you can add, see, you can change this age group from 65 to 30. So the people who will lie between 18 to 30 will only see this ad. Okay. And here is the detailed targeting thing. So here you can target them, those who are interested in food. Okay, to make it more precise, see fast food. So how it works is, so those who are interested in fast food, like me, like I'm most, I, I'm like mainly into fast food thing. So I like pages related to fast food thing. So basically pages related to MACD, uh, fast related to fast food means pages like MACD's page, Burger King's page, like Cafe Coffee Hut page. So I like these pages. So Facebook comes to know, by, by because of this activity because of my activity on facebook facebook knows that i am the person who is interested in fast food okay so this is how facebook shows ads so suppose anyone runs an ad and who tar he targets people who are interested in fast food and who lives in ravet i will also come across that ad because i am liking pages related to fast food okay so this is how it's powerful because we are only targeting people who are interested in fast food and those who are living in Ravid. Fine. Yeah. So we can manually place this ad. So if you want, we can place only, I usually place ads only on Facebook and Instagram and that too on feeds because we are mainly active on feeds on rest, like on rest features. We don't use these features like marketplace usually. Okay. So I only keep this to Instagram feeds and stories. I'll remove all this. Yeah. So that's it. So this is the main, most important part. So this is, I took, we are taking this example of a cafe, but you can use it for anything. Suppose you are selling a house. You can remove this and you can type here, those who are interested in house hunting. Okay. So it depends which business or product you are saying. So people here, you can read also. See those here it's written people who express, who have expressed an interest in or like pages related to house hunting. So suppose if I am selling houses, I am a builder or I am a real estate agent. I'm selling houses. So I will type, I will choose this thing. So I want to show my ad only to those who are interested in house hunting or who are looking for a house. Okay. This is how it works for now. I will keep it as fast food only. Yeah, that's it. And next we have to do next. And after that, we have to add images. For this webinar, we won't add any images because it takes time to create a particular image related to that offer. So we have to basically what we do is we, we create an image like this. This is how our ad looks. So the image is there. We, we write some quote here, like we called it ad copywriting. Okay. So see here, primary text. We have to write some primary text out here. Here it's like uh, related to real estate. So this text appears here. And after that, we can run a Facebook uh, brand awareness ad for our local cafe. So this is how I have given you an overview. This is just an introductory session. So I can't cover everything in this one hour session. 
so i have just given you an introduction how facebook ad works how you can create ad for your business okay yeah so our next thing we are going to cover is first aspect we have covered social media marketing right the second thing is search engine optimization okay so have you heard before about this term search engine mark uh, search engine optimization if you have heard about this term just type one in the chat box have you heard about seo okay rushikesh is saying one yes one rushikesh one shivraj kumar has typed one okay so i think only tejas has also heard about this okay fine okay so yeah so search engine optimization what is search engine optimization basically on google we search for different terms right for example if you are planning to join a digital marketing course what you will search on google basically you will search digital marketing courses near me digital marketing courses in pune so these are the search terms in digital marketing thing we call it as keyword okay the terms i will repeat the terms we search on google for example digital marketing courses near me these terms we call it as keyword keywords you can say right so what are these keywords basically we have to like create our website or we have to stuff this keywords into our website so that anyone searches for this keyword our website should rank on google okay so we have to what we have to do in search engine optimization what we do is we stuff this keyword in our website so that if someone searches this term our website can rank on google okay so how it works i will show you again allow me to share my screen with you guys okay see so i am searching here digital marketing courses near me so digital marketing courses near me this uh, this is a keyword okay so if you are running a digital marketing institute you should write a blog or you should create a website or page web page on this keyword so that anyone searches for this keyword our website should rank for example see this website first i will tell you what is this see digital marketing courses in pimpri chinchwad so this suleka page suleka website is using this keyword in in their website that's why they are ranking here for this keyword why this website is showing up on google because they are using this keyword in their website okay and these are like free listings free listings as in there are two types of listings which offers on facebook so here we can see here ad is written right so this is paid thing we call it search engine marketing okay so when the when the listings are organic free we called it we call it search engine optimization and when listings are paid we call it search engine marketing okay so these are listings or links which appear because they are paying google they are running ad on this keyword okay so this they are uh, which is simply learn simply learn is running ad on this keyword digital marketing courses near me okay are you getting it if you are getting it just type one Like like you are saying, most of the students might be saying like, "What sir is doing is always behind us, asking us to type one one." Okay, fine. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your response. Yeah. So okay. So this again, I will repeat one last time. The terms which appear because of paid campaigns, the process is called as search engine marketing. and the links or listings these listings you are see your ad is not written so these are appearing freely so we call this process as search engine optimization okay so these are the two main important 
thing like first is social media marketing second is search engine optimization and third is search engine marketing okay so there are different aspects like you can say the first step for doing search engine optimization is we have to search for those keywords which people are looking for for example here for this keyword uh, just let me change this location here okay so is has anyone tried doing search engine marketing or anything related to this before those who are attending this session now or do you have you guys have your own website or you have created your own website before just let me know in the chat box no 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 yes okay shiv kumar has done this shiv raj kumar sorry shiv raj kumar has done this before rushikesh has also done seo before nice okay see the first step for doing seo or search engine marketing is we should first choose our keywords for example if we'll take here the example of a digital marketing institute so suppose you are running a digital marketing institute this is a keyword so we have to first qualify this keyword for example suppose this keyword has only 10 searches per month so it's not like beneficial it will not be beneficial to write a website like a blog or to create a page on this keyword right so the first step is to do seo first we have to create a list of keywords like for example digital marketing courses near me so these are various keywords digital marketing course in pune with fees digital marketing courses fees digital marketing courses in pune so these are different keywords so what we have to do is we have to identify we have to create a list of keywords in the first step in the second step what we have to do is we have to qualify the keywords how to qualify the keywords we have to identify whether it's useful or it's beneficial to write a blog or create a page on this keyword so i will show you with this i will explain you this with an example okay so this keyword has 4400 searches per month so to know this how it appears it appears because of this uber suggest extension by neil patel so we have to install this uber suggest suggest extension on our browser okay so after we install this you can come to know you'll come to know how many searches are there for a particular keyword okay so for this particular keyword there are 4400 searches per month and its cpc is 129.45 okay so what is cpc cpc is cost per click right cost per click cost per click is like suppose if uh, if i run an ad for this keyword and someone clicks on my link so google will deduct 129 rupees from my account okay so if i get two clicks google will deduct around 250 rupees from my account fine cpc is clear this is how it works and our, we have to plan budget according to this okay so we want basically see these are cpc it doesn't guarantee that you get a lead from that cpc okay for that there are many aspects which we will learn in our course okay so for for now i i won't go deep into that but yeah cpc is cost per click so anyone clicks on your on our link at google will deduct the particular amount from our account fine so we can use this as our keyword to write a blog on this because it has 4400 searches suppose it had only four searches per month so we would have rejected that keyword okay if it would have had only four searches per month it's not beneficial or it's it, it's not recommended to write on a on a keyword which has only four searches per month right so that's why we have to first qualify first step is to create a list of keywords second is to qualify our keywords to choose our keywords related to our industry and third step is to actually write content on that keyword so that we can rank on google okay for example this suleka is writing content on this keyword that's why they are ranking on this page fine this is how search engine optimization works and search engine marketing is like pretty similar we have to like choose a keyword 
just we have to pay google to rank on google, on on this search engine right sir like there are two things search engine optimization you can remember it's a free thing organic marketing we call it as organic marketing and search engine marketing is we pay google to rank on their search engine fine this is what uh, like search engine optimization and search engine marketing is okay so now i will show you like how to get your first sale okay so before you start i will like uh, this second topic i will tell you i will explain you a short story i'll tell you a short story of us so we started this business a year ago and i i'm uh, like i'm i know like most of us can relate to this like there are many videos on youtube we say on you can earn 1 lakh rupees per month earn 10 crores per year right so i used to get very you know uh, you can say fascinated or uh, i used to watch those videos because i was much into digital marketing and i wanted to earn online through digital marketing but like most of them they don't tell you how to get your first sale itself because getting i'll tell you from my experience getting your first sell is the difficult task like the most difficult task is getting your first sell once you get your first sell no? you can get like second sell third sell is not the big deal okay so how to get your first sell the biggest mistake we do online or we not yeah i can say I, we can take an example of online here so for biggest mistake we do online is we try to create like without keeping our like basic strong we try to create a like a world which like imaginary world like i will earn 1 lakh rupees we create something like goals which are not like realistic so how to get your first sale see these all things are good but initially no one knows us right once we when we are starting no one know like a year ago no one knew like today even today we are not that big firm but still we have we know like we have our online presence but when but when we start basically no one knows us so even if we create our social media account we create our website we all know and if you have done this before we all know we don't get sales easily right so what we have to do is we have to post our listings or like our products or services on the website which already has traffic i will give you a best example which you all can relate to is like zomato for example you are starting a cafe in future let's say after completing your hm you are planning to start a cafe or a, a cloud kitchen so what you will guys do you will create your social media account facebook on instagram you will promote you will ask your friends to share with their friends Uh, you you last them to share with 10 more friends and you last those 10 more friends to share with more 10 friends right but you won't get any sale like rarely you will get one sale right from there but what we can do is we can post our service on a platform like zomato zomato is the best thing if you are creating if you are starting a cafe to put your cafe on zomato is the best thing to do to get sales why because zomato already has that audience who are interested in food who are ordering food right so to create a brand from scratch and to get sale directly from our on our like website or app is difficult so we use platforms like zomato to get our initial sales so how we did when when we started we posted our listing or service on just dine okay so our first sale was through just dial we tried digital marketing like we created our facebook page instagram page website but to get those sales from first sale through our website is difficult so the moral of the story is if you are starting find the platforms which already has audience so suppose you want you are into freelancer you can post your listings on websites like fiverr like freelancer upwork their audience is already there so you can get identified there once you are starting okay i hope this helps you like to get your first sale if you are st start if you are looking to start your own business okay start posting your services or your products on the website which already has traffic rather than struggling to get traffic to our website initially you can post 
on others website you can use platforms which which all already there and has a lot of traffic fine this is the thing now we'll start i will share you one video with you a, a video like it's very interesting video this guy from us i don't know his name he landed a high paying job okay so yeah we are into our third okay third point of this webinar this guy landed a job okay high paying job that to high paying job using google ad okay so allow me to share this so is it visible is this video visible just type yes if this video is visible to you guys yes yes okay so shivraj kumar pooja yes rishikesh yes neeraj yes nice okay so i hope it's visible okay i'll play this video just look at it how we got a job through with help of google ads okay is it audible okay so the hello am i audible uh, yeah so did you guys get uh, like uh, you know like i will explain you what happened like with this guy this guy like run an ad did you guys get this video i i want to first know from you guys just type yes if you like got what happened in this video hello yes pooja i said yes okay okay so i will just explain you what happened in this video this guy like ran an ad google ad for other like those who are like creative consultants for them who like they google their own name and they he ran the ad for that particular keyword the here the keyword was their own name for example here suppose i'm my name is cyrus telly so someone has ran ad for my name so i suppose i google my name i will see that web like employee's name employer employee's name and that ad because i have googled my name and he, he has used my name as his keyword okay so that guy like very smartly ran that ad for top four consultants and he landed a job from two and he got one job also so this is a good way he like used it as a for getting a job google ads to get a job okay so this is what our like three aspects was so guys this is a you guys know like digital marketing is a very vast field right so to cover everything in this one hour or this two hours of session is very difficult okay so what we have done is we have created a 40 hours training program for you guys right 40 hours training program and this will cover 17 digital marketing modules okay 17 digital marketing modules will be covered uh, will be covered during this program right and it will be a, like mainly online so you can uh, join this from comfort of your home right and it will take around 8 to 10 days to completely get finish this uh, course right plus you will be getting four credit points for this 
कोर्स राईट फॉर नाव लाईक आय थिंक पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी हॅज मेड इट मॅन्डेटरी आय थिंक दॅट यू नीड फोर क्रेडिट पॉईंट टू गेट अ डिग्री राईट सो यू आर गेटिंग फोर क्रेडिट पॉईंट ऑल्सो टू दिस कोर्स राईट फर्दर यू लाईक फर्दर मॅम विल एक्सप्लेन लाईक प्रज्ञा मॅम आय विल हँड ओव्हर टू प्रज्ञा मॅम शी विल एक्सप्लेन हाऊ द लाईक कोर्स विल बी अँड वॉट विल द प्राईस ऑफ द कोर्स अँड हाऊ यू कॅन फर्दर प्रोसिड विथ द प्रोसेस थँक यू मॅम यू कॅन प्रोसिड प्लीज okay uh so thank you so much sir sir and i i hope everyone has benefited from what i have taught you today so today you have seen how actually going on social media can also monetize your time right so and you know digital marketing is a future for job seekers or be it a business person so coming back to course uh this digital marketing course price is rupees 30000 plus 10000 or that is for bonuses that means the total cost is 40000 but students you can tell because you all will get the scores for rupees 6000 yeah as an inaugural offer of this course so isn't it great like who all uh, agree with this i hope everyone got what, what the course is and the price and everything you can type yes in the chat box if yes everyone If you understood, you can type yes in the chat box. Okay, great. Fine. Uh, so, anybody who is interested to join us with the scores and grab all the learning, a WhatsApp group invite link is shared in the chat box. Sairat sir will share the link in the chat box. so anyone who is interested join the group to book your interest and all further information will be shared there on okay so yeah uh, sirat sir you can share the link in the group i mean the chat box so just to you know uh, book your interest you, you people can uh, join the whatsapp group now yeah so the link is here so is the link clickable guys yes we can wait for 5 seconds then we'll have a question answer round so everyone like you people can have clear your doubts if you have any okay so the link is been shared and to know more about the course you can just join this whatsapp group and you can contact us so yeah let's have a quick question answer round i guess shivraj kumar was having a question so yes uh, you people are free to ask whatever you want about the course of course so i had a question but uh, it is clear uh, my question is about targeting the location for a business Okay, Shabha Shumar. Okay. So, yes, everyone else? Hello. Hello, Shabha Shumar. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, you can ask a question now. What was your doubt? Like, I didn't get you. Uh, my doubt is to target a location. Location? Yes, sir. So... how oh, like you are ta- saying you are you want to target a particular location right yeah yeah how yeah. to do it on how to do it on facebook right ah uh, yes that uh, you cleared uh, cleared that question you got that right yes yes i got that okay. so anyone else has any doubt or you want to ask anything about the course or anything related to the course Uh, sir i have another question what is duration of course duration of the course will be of 40 hours so it will be divided into like uh, you can say 8 days so it will so you'll get to know more about this in the whatsapp group so i have shared the link with you right in the okay. chat box right you. you can join that group the further how the course will go basically it will be weekend or weekdays where you will come to know so it will mainly be online and it will be a 40 hours course 
So basically it will be divided into eight to 10 days. So it depends. It will be on like, it, it will depend on a uh, number of participants or how they, how their like uh, schedule is. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. So anyone else wants to ask anything? Yes, guys. Anyone has any question? All the participants, please ask questions. So and ma'am is are here to help you out and solve your queries. Okay, I hope everyone is cleared with the doubts. And if you have anything uh, else to ask, uh, you can join the WhatsApp group. We are here. Okay. Uh, ma'am, shall we uh, end the webinar now or? Uh, yes, so like we are done from our side and Ashwini uh, ma'am also like for answer, if you have anything to say. Uh, no ma'am, it was a great session actually and uh, for, for the participants, I really need to, you know, inform you all that it's a very important uh, course and you know, and you're getting this course in a, in a very discounted and reasonable rate. So I will, uh, you know, insist on uh, joining this WhatsApp group and you know, make sure that everyone joins. So you also get uh, four credits, uh, which uh, the University of Pune will be giving it to you all. Okay. Uh, on behalf of DY Padil College of Hotel Management, I thank both of you uh, for today's session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, so great. Like I want to also like thank everyone for facilities of DY Padil MCP for giving us the opportunity that we are here. Uh, Dr. Milin Peshwe, sir, Dr. Dr. Professor Ashwini, ma'am, Parag, sir, and of course to all my lovely audience. Thank you so much, and let's meet soon and create a great digital life. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.